At its heart, Vattenfall is working for fossil freedom. It's addressing that challenge directly for how we can work, live, travel and enjoy life without that reliance on fossil fuels. We have 26 million gas boilers in this country and that is not the answer to decarbonising our planet. Um, it's not a sustainable solution. And in densely populated urban areas, it's likely that district heating will be the lowest cost, low carbon solution for that area. And the technology itself is actually pretty simple. We're putting in large insulated steel pipes in the ground and then taking hot water and piping it directly into homes and businesses. What's revolutionary about district heating is the way that we heat that water. We're doing it by using um, shared heat that is already here in the atmosphere and it ends up hot enough that we can give you hot water and hot homes 24 seven um, all year round. Well, there's a number of different reasons why heat networks are really important for communities. It's new clean energy infrastructure going into the city. It's how we can get the buildings off fossil fuels, but it also means investment and jobs within a local area. We're going to be there for, you know, for a long time. There are networks that we run that are more than 100 years old, and we look after the entire value chain from the design of the network for its construction and then for its long-term operation. And across each of those areas, we're going to need people and, in, and the people who know the fabric of the town or the city that we're working within. So it's in our interest to build really, really strong foundations within the community. Delivering a heat network is much more than just delivering low carbon heat to a community. Heat networks are inherently local. It's local energy delivered to local people. We can't reach our goal of fossil freedom without working in partnership with communities. We're thinking about how are we providing a positive impact both in terms of the environment, local economies, and also the social impact as well. There are massive opportunities here for um, local economies across the UK as we build out this infrastructure through um, provision of internships, apprenticeships, developing local supply chain, working with SMEs, working with ex-offenders. There's a huge range of different initiatives that we're putting in place because we are part of that community for the long term. What you will see is a partner that takes seriously the local needs that you have in your communities, the urban environment that you've already got. We, are, we will be sensitive to biodiversity, to community engagement. We can deliver these connections with better air quality, with lower emissions from the, um, the, the sources, but also the fact that we're making the city a healthier and a better place to live. And that's not just for the people that are having that connection, but also the uh, wider community around it. Yes, the technology is really important, but at the end of the day, what people are going to remember is what impact does it have on, it, on their lives and their communities. Local energy, locally generated, delivered to local people. So at its heart is community, and not many utility sectors get to say that.